In the forgotten town of Willowbrook, nestled deep within a forest shrouded in perpetual mist, there stood an abandoned, decaying mansion known as Blackthorn Manor. Its dark, imposing facade loomed over the surrounding trees, casting an eerie shadow that stretched far beyond its crumbling walls for decades. The mansion had been whispered about in hushed tones, its history steeped in tales of horror and tragedy. The legend that sent shivers down the spines of all who heard it revolved around the ghostly children of Blackthorn Manor. The story began in the early 1900s, when the mansion was a grand family home. The Blackthorn family had lived there, and they were well known throughout the town for their wealth and power. But their wealth came at a steep cost, for the Blackthorns had made a sinister pact with the spirits that dwelled in the nearby forest. The Blackthorns had two children, Abigail and William, who were said to be the most beautiful and enigmatic siblings anyone had ever seen. Their golden hair and striking blue eyes were the talk of the town, but they were also known for their strange behavior. They often disappeared into the forest for hours on end, returning with tales of secret meetings with the forest spirits. One fateful night, the town's folk witnessed a terrifying spectacle. A thunderstorm raged over the forest, lightning illuminating the sky like an otherworldly fireworks show. Amidst the chaos of the storm, the Blackthorn Mansion caught fire. The flames devoured the grand structure, reducing it to a charred skeleton. The townspeople gathered, helpless to save the mansion or its inhabitants. When the fire was finally extinguished, the townspeople searched for any sign of the Blackthorn family, but there was no trace of them. Only a cryptic note remained, which read, we have found our true home among the forest spirits. The mansion was left to crumble into ruin, abandoned by the living but never truly empty. Years passed, and the mansion became the stuff of local legend. It was said that the spirits of Abigail and William Blackthorn still roamed the halls, their laughter echoing in the night. But they were not alone. Other children's voices joined theirs, faintly singing nursery rhymes in a language unknown to the living. The town's residents were forbidden from entering the forest near Blackthorn Manor, and the mansion itself was left untouched by curious hands. Those who ventured too close to the decaying mansion reported eerie sightings and strange occurrences, apparitions of children playing in the overgrown garden, the sound of ghostly giggles in the breeze, and glimpses of a shadowy figure watching from the broken windows. One brave soul, a young woman named Eliza, had always been fascinated by the tales of Blackthorn Manor. She believed there was more to the story than met the eye, and she was determined to uncover the truth. Eliza was a scholar of the occult and had spent years studying the rituals and practices of those who communicated with the spirit world. She felt drawn to the mansion, as though an unseen force were calling her. One moonless night, Eliza approached the crumbling gates of Blackthorn Manor. The air was heavy with foreboding, and the only sound was the rustling of leaves in the wind. As she crossed the threshold, a chill ran down her spine, but she pressed on, guided by an invisible hand. Inside the mansion, the darkness was absolute, and Eliza relied on a flickering lantern to light her way. She could feel the presence of the ghostly children around her, their whispers brushing against her skin. They led her deeper into the mansion, through decrepit hallways and up a grand, winding staircase. Finally, Eliza reached a room bathed in an eerie, bluish light. The walls were covered in faded, peeling wallpaper adorned with scenes of innocent childhood. In the center of the room, 
a rocking chair swayed gently, seemingly of its own accord. Eliza approached cautiously, her heart pounding as she neared the chair. The room's temperature dropped dramatically, and the air grew thick with an otherworldly energy. Suddenly, the ghostly figures of Abigail and William Blackthorn materialized before her. Their eyes like shards of ice. You should not have come here, Abigail whispered, her voice a haunting melody. We have waited for someone like you, William added, his tone filled with longing. Eliza trembled but stood her ground. She had come seeking answers, and she would not be deterred. Tell me why you remain in this place, she demanded. The ghostly children exchanged a knowing glance before Abigail began to recount their story. They spoke of the dark pact their family had made with the forest spirits, a pact that had bound their souls to the mansion. They had become conduits between the living and the dead, forever trapped in a liminal space. As the tale unfolded, Eliza realized the truth of their existence. The spirits of Abigail and William had been forced into their role. Their innocence corrupted by the Blackthorn family's greed and ambition. They had yearned for release, for someone to free them from their eternal torment. Moved by her plight, Eliza vowed to help them find peace. Using her knowledge of the occult, she conducted a ritual to break the binding curse. The mansion shook as the spirits of Abigail and William were finally set free, ascending into the night sky like ethereal fireflies. With the curse lifted, Blackthorn Manor stood silent and empty. Eliza left the mansion, knowing that she had played a part in ending the torment of the ghostly children. The legends of Blackthorn Manor would live on, but now they would be tales of redemption and release rather than of horror and despair. And so, in the forgotten town of Willowbrook, the mansion's dark history was forever altered, a testament to the power of one brave soul to confront the past and bring peace to the restless spirits that dwelled within its walls.